welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how I contour and highlight so I already have my eyes done I already have on foundation and I just want to come really quick and show you guys how I do my highlighting and how I contour my nose and my cheekbone so let's get started first I'm gonna start with highlighting so I've been using pro concealer this has been an awesome product. I, I did a review on this, guys, and if some of you guys watched it, these are like the best things going right now as far as concealers. So if you have a local beauty supply store, go in, check, see if they have these little things, find your color, find a shade lighter than you, and maybe even darker than you, and you can play around with these with highlighting, contouring, um, concealing, like they're perfect. So let me get started. I'm gonna put some product under my eyes because that's where I want to highlight. And I'm sure you guys saw this a million times from other people's channel, but you never saw me do it, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay? Okay, so I have it there under my eyes. I'm gonna put some right here on my chin. I'm going to put some right here and I'm going to put some in the very center of my nose because I want to highlight that. One straight line. And then I want to put a little bit up here. Okay? So yeah. Go a little further up. Okay, guys, so yes, I look beautiful, don't I? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my beauty blender sponge and I'm just gonna work this concealer in. I'm just dabbing it. I'm going to get this side. And my sponge is wet because I want to make sure that I smudge the product out. You don't want it to look too harsh. So you want to make sure your sponge is nice and damp. Because one thing about this concealer that I noticed that it dries up really quickly. So the water on the sponge helps work with the product a lot better. Okay? Okay, can you see guys? I'm already highlighted there. Okay, so I'm going to work right here. And then go up to my nose. Okay, so I'm going to ease this up a little. Again, I'm just working this in. My sponge is wet, like I said. And I'm just working it in. Okay. You want to make sure you blend all of this out because you don't want it to look extremely like, ah! you know, you want it to look natural. And the best way to test this when you're done is to take a picture. You'll see if you need to blend more, if you'll see the imperfections. You know, I, I learned one thing with makeup that the, the most important thing you need to do is blend, blend, blend. And I'm sure I'm not the only person to say that. Anyone on YouTube, I'm just fixing this guys, anyone on YouTube knows that, you know, blending is the key element to perfect makeup, okay? So I think I'm good. So I'm gonna move in now with my banana powder. So I'm very careful when I use this because this product is very, very, 
high pigment so you know you got to be careful I try not to put too much on you know I see a lot of people like paint all of this on I don't because once I use the concealer I feel like that helps me to get a nice highlight and all I'm using this for is to like set the concealer I see a lot of people take this and like put a whole bunch of it on their face so I'm just gonna put some down the bridge of my nose on my chin okay I'm gonna get up here all right okay next I am gonna contour so I bought this product the uh, Benai press color palette um, I wasn't able to do a review with this yet but I will it's coming um, this is pretty much all of the Benai uh, powders I have golden light caramel honey spice sepia Moroccan Adobe Tanzania and Americano um, I heard awesome reviews about this and I wanted to try it out for myself so I'm gonna be using this color to contour and I'm gonna do my nose and my chisel jaw area so let's work on the nose first Wow, this thing is heavy pigmented. Oh my god. Who knew? Okay. Now I'm going to work on my jawline. So let me show you what I guys, what I usually do. I usually suck in my cheek, guys. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna work this in. Okay, so as you can see now guys, my jawline look chiseled and this, I'm not even sucking my cheeks in. So when I, chuck, I suck my cheeks in, and now look, so that looks amazing. Okay, my nails. Okay, so I think that's it. So now I'm gonna put on my face powder and pretty much finish off this look. Perfection. Okay, so I'm gonna use some blush. 
I have this Wet n Wild blush, which I love to death. I have to be very easy with using this because it is very heavy pigmented. So I want to make sure that I put a little bit of product on there. So I just pretty much dab. I smile. And I get those cheeks. Okay, so I'm just gonna dust this off. And I think I'm almost done. Let's do my lips and yeah, that's it. What color am I gonna do today? So I think I'm gonna use Beat Lip Liner. Let me get my mirror. If you guys hear any noises, that's my window. It's pretty windy outside, so my blinds are like going back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so this is Beat Lip Liner by MAC. What color am I gonna do today? Should I do a gloss? Should I do a lipstick? Let's see what I have here. I'm thinking, let's do a gloss. So I have this Veronica MAC Lip Gloss. This is Mall Madness. I haven't worn this in a while. Let's see how this looks. Okay guys, so that is the final look. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna throw on my beautiful wig and show you guys what this finally looks like, okay? Stay tuned guys.